Carson and Company have been providing high-quality, cost-effective material handling solutions to the mining, aggregate, power, and cement and manufacturing industries for over a quarter century. Based on decades of field experience and research, T. Carson & Company brings you Eliflex, the conveyor belt and rubber repair system. Eliflex will decrease your cost per ton expenses, minimize downtime, and costly conveyor belt repairs, getting you back online, productive and profitable. Hi, I'm Tim McLaughlin, owner of T. Carson & Company. We're here today to demonstrate Eliflex, conveyor belt and rubber repair resin the quick, easy, and cost-effective solution to your damaged conveyor belt. The conveyor belt or rubber surface must be clean. The size preparation is key. Cleanliness is all important. We're now beveling the edge of that to expose fresh rubber, and after that, if in fact you're going to use a solvent, only use it if the belt surface is contaminated. Otherwise, forget the solvent. After using a solvent and making sure that it's totally dry, use a handheld belt scraper, stiff bristle brush, or electric grinder, using only at the slowest speed. After scraping the, the surface, brush away any loose particles that remain. Open the resin pack by cutting the aluminum foil along the marked lines, making sure you are outside the plastic divider when cutting the pouch. Once the resin pack is out of the foil sleeve, grasp both sides and gently pull apart until the separator pops up. Carefully slide out the separator and remove the divider clip. Mix by kneading and squashing the resin back together until it starts to warm up, approximately three to four minutes. To ensure the homogeneous resin mix, use the plastic clip to move the resin from the corners of the resin pack towards the center. After thoroughly mixing the pack, making sure the material is centrally located, cut open the corner of the resin pack and squeeze out the resin onto the damaged surfaced area. Smooth the resin to the desired level using a flat edge implement, putty knife, or Eliflex spatula, available upon request. Leave to cure for the appropriate time. Keep in mind that Eliflex is a non-solvent based material. What you put in the repair is what you end up with, so make sure there's not excessive material. Cure. cure time is dependent on ambient temperature. At a 70 degree Fahrenheit temperature, we'd like to get two, two and a half hours. If temperature varies from that, a higher temperature, a quicker cure, a lower temperature, it's gonna take more time. For exact curing times, refer to the Eliflex trifle.